Good morning from Treehouse Garden. I thought I'd walk around and show you a little update. Uh, two weeks ago, my friend James from the Loomis uh, Garden page, he's called the Urban Gardener, came out and told me that I needed to use a different fertilizer and I switched to 15, 15, 15 and my tomato plants have literally doubled their size. Every day I've been picking about 10 pounds of tomatoes and they are gorgeous and big. These are Martha Washington tomatoes here. Um, they're looking fantastic. We've made salsa, we made spaghetti sauce, uh, we made eggplant parmesan last night with homemade sauce and it's looking great over here. I've got some lemon cucumbers that are popping up, so that's really exciting. I've never grown those before. Pulled out my potatoes, and I have planted, because it's not too late, I have planted another crop of cucumbers and squash in these boxes. So these are cucumbers here. And these are gonna be squash that are just gonna trail outside of the garden boxes. I've also planted more uh, pole beans. And then over in this box, we have more uh, cucumbers, and what's popping up there, the little ones on the edge, are cantaloupe. So it's still not too late to do a second uh, summer garden, especially if you're having some trouble with the one that you have going now. Here are the cucumbers, and again, they're almost to the top of my eight-foot fence, which is really awesome. And we're picking, um, the, these are big cucumbers, and we're picking about four or five a day. We've just been using them for tomato, cucumber, pita pocket sandwiches, and we also have been making um, cucumber salad. Look at some eggplants. Oh, they're looking so great. We did two um, last night and we made eggplant parmesan. And I'll be posting that recipe soon because it was really great. But you gotta see these um, eggplants. They're so awesome. And they look a little different. I don't know if you can see it down there, but they are green and purple, different variety, very pretty. And again, we've got more eggplants um, on this side of the garden. A metal barrel full of acorn squash. Again, <laughs> it's trailing out and taking over. Um, full of flowers, full of squash to harvest, which is truly amazing. Is my wonderful basil and the tomatillas are kind of shading them a little bit and actually basil although it can be in the full sun it does thrive a little bit better if it does get some shade in the day um, and as you can see I've planted different varieties Italian variety and a sweet basil variety and I got these at Johnny Seeds um, I just literally sprinkle the seeds in the ground and put some nice soil on top fertilize water and nature does the rest on the other side of the garden here we have lots of cantaloupe that's coming in which is exciting again I plant them on the edge of the beds and I just let them spiral out onto the ground I also have a lot of butternut on this side so um, everything's growing up <laughs> someone discarded a child's like mattress frame on the side of the road and we picked it up and bolted it and we are growing beans up it right now Check out the squash patch. It is like taking over the back of my property. It is absolutely crazy, going crazy, and the production is amazing. We have been um, shredding a lot of the zucchini for later and putting in the freezer, also dehydrating, and of course, giving a lot to the neighbors and um, making recipes with all the squash, but it is <laughs> looking really amazing. The thing that I wanted to show you today is my um, my newest garden box. We planted um, everything again by seed in here. We've got um, some beautiful arugula coming up. Uh, we've got watercress that's coming up, these little ones. Um, more lettuce here because this box does not get full shade. I mean full sun all day long, it gets some shade. Um, more arugula, some kale, which is a winter crop, but I'm successfully growing it in the summer, uh, a row of bush beans, and then lastly, more basil. So everything's coming in quite nicely, and I'm super excited, so I wanted to show you um, just how everything is producing and coming along. 
And again, it's not too late to start all the things I mentioned today, um, even from seed and do a direct sow in the ground. Um, but there's the beagles getting into trouble probably. Hi, Scout. Hi, Gem. And then here's those cute little lemon cucumbers. They're so cute. Hi, Jemmy. Can you say hi? Hi, Gem Gem. All right, guys. Well, that's a quick tour of the garden today. Just wanted to kind of show you. I haven't done a video in a while to see how things are looking and show you everything I'm producing.